was ripped asunder. Hello viewers, I am your host and guide, Chris13, and we are playing Final Fantasy VI. Now, last episode, Kefka took the statues of the three goddesses, and he moved them around, kind of messed with them. And it seems like it's kind of, well, pretty much caused the world to go to hell in a handbasket. Well, at least some people survived. Looks like Sid's still alive, we got... Well, Celeste is lying in bed. Oh, wait, wait. She's she's moving. Oh, okay. Whew. She's still alive. Wonder what happened to everyone else though. Celeste, at last. Celeste, at last. You've finally woken up. I... how long was I asleep? Almost exactly a full year. I was beginning to worry that I wouldn't be able to save you. For a whole year? Sid, you brought me here and took care of me during that time? Yes, but now I'm starting to have troubles. We're on a small and uninhabited island. After the world was torn asunder, I woke up here and found that we'd been thrown onto this island. Torn asunder? So, it wasn't just a dream. What about the others? What about Locke? I don't know. We're the only ones on this island. For all I know, this island is all that's left of the war world. The world is getting worse every day. There were others on this island when I came too, but they're all dead now. One died quickly. Another went mad and killed himself. Another died of sorrow. One drowned himself, and the last one jumped off the cliff at the North Cape. Everybody. They're probably all dead. Celeste, don't lose hope. You're the closest thing I have to a family in this world. We can just live out our lives quietly here. Together. Yes, you're right, Sid. Or rather, Grandfather. Do you mind me calling you that? Grandfather? <laughs> I guess I have a granddaughter now, then. <coughs> oh, Grandfather. Ha <laughs> ha. Grandpa, can I get you anything? Well, I haven't eaten in three days. What would you like to eat? If I don't ask for fish, I'm not going to get anything, so I guess that will do. I'll go catch some. Okay, now time for a semi-boring mini-game. Um, what we have to do here is... Well, first, you notice we're going to have to equip up Celeste, because she's lost all her equipment. Um, well, we'll just leave her with the Morningstar. Um, you're going to want... Remember that ribbon we got lucky enough to equip? Yeah, we're going to want to equip that, just so that we don't forget later. And just for the sake of not forgetting to do it later, I'm also going to equip a black belt. And we'll we'll see why eventually. For now, it doesn't really make much sense, but like I said, it'll there is a reason for it. Now, 
what happens here is what we have to try and do is we have to try and uh, keep Sid alive and healthy by feeding him. Now every second that we wander around, Sid gets a bit more sick. And once this, like, this invisible meter that tells how alive he is, once it drops down to a certain point, um, Sid's gonna pass away. If we want to save him, we have to bring it up to a certain point. Now, you notice there isn't really much here, so... He did ask for fish, so we're gonna feed him fish. So you just keep coming down here and you're looking for fish. And what you're gonna wanna do is there's four different types of fish. You know what, let's... Let's catch that one because it's all there is. Now to catch them, you just wait for them to come to shore and you grab them. They will appear in your key items and you'll notice we got a fish. It's a fair fish. So, it's not a great one, it's not a bad one. But let's go... Actually, you know what, I'm gonna equip dash shoes. I don't know why I'm not. There we go. Oh, what was that? Sid, you shouldn't be out of bed. Grandfather, here's a fish. Eat up. Thank you. Even if you can't leave, you should at least escape while you can. <coughs> um, sure, if we can't leave, how are we supposed to escape, though? Anyways, this is basically what we're doing. We're just going to be going back and forth grabbing fish. Now, as I said, there's different types of fish. So there is one that's moving fast, and there's two down here that aren't moving very fast. If I can grab that one as well... You know what, let's just go into our items. We got key items, we got fish, a great fish, and we got a good fish. So the one that was moving really fast was a great one, and the one that wasn't moving very fast was a good one. Now you're going to want to try and to keep them alive, feed them as many of the fast moving fish as you can. And you're pretty much going to be wanting to ignore the slower ones, like that one we just picked up, a fair fish. That's going to bring that counter down. The good fish, and the great fish, however, will slightly bring it up. So, feeding him more fish... Eh, you notice he says the same thing. There's no fish here, so go back. Quickly talk to him, because that causes them to reset. And run back down to catch more fish. That one's not moving very fast, so I don't want it. Right, because we're gonna try and save him, right? That <laughs> selects that. Ugh. I'm ugh, not going to live much longer. But you, ugh. yeah. So you see, his uh, he's not doing too good. His uh, sounds like he's gotten worse. So looks like we're gonna need a. Yes, got a fast one. Let's take it back to him. And we're just going to be doing this for a while. All right, and we're back up to where he started. That's that's good, because we want to save Sid. We don't want Sid to die. Sid's awesome. And crap, there's no good fish here. This is this is shitty fish. So, we leave again. I wonder if I can just leave and come back and that'll reset it. I don't think it does, but... No. All right, fine. Talking to Sid. Ugh. So, how's it going, everybody? Have you uh, enjoyed the game so far? Have you seen what I did to the Atma weapon there? Oh my god. I can't believe I actually blew him away in only three attacks. Seriously, three attacks. Well, I guess closer to six, because Shadow attacked a few times too, but... Really, in comparison to the damage that Terra was doing, that was... That was very nil. That wasn't anywhere near as much. And that's a slow-moving one, so you know what, we'll just... You know what, I'll show what it's... Uh, you know what, screw it. Not worth it. I want to save Sid. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, another fast one. Come on, fast one. Yes, and what are you? 
Please tell me you're another good one. Yes! Alright, we got a great one and a good one. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want to grab. The problem is, is you've got rotten fish, which are bad, and they'll move really slowly. And then the good ones and the fair ones will move at the same speed. So you can't tell which one's good and which one's fair. You can just kind of grab them and hope for the best. And then you got the great ones, which move really fast. I find the best to do is just to hope for a great fish every time you go down. And if it's there, grab it. And if there's one medium moving one, grab that as well, because you got a 50-50 chance of it being a good fish, yes, or a fair fish, and either way, the great fish is going to offset the little bit that you're going to lose from the fish that's not so great. And as you can see, Sid's healing up. So, we're doing this here. It's, it's a very slow process, but we'll get it, and eventually he'll get better. Come on, Sid. You can do it. I know you're old, but you're not out yet. You're a fighter! Come on, you're the only character who's lived through every single Final Fantasy game. I think. Hmm. Pretty sure there's been a Sid in every single one so far. Oh, come on. And I'll grab you and you, because I'll get a good one and a fair one. They'll balance each other out, so I really could have just grabbed nothing, but... Oh, well. Come on. Yes, another fast one. Got you, and got you. I'm not even going to check to see if it's a good one. There's really no point. Slowly getting better. Come on, Sid. You can do it. You're so close, man. So close. I'll grab you, and come on, come on, come on. And there we go. Just in case I had grabbed the poor one, I was going to grab that one. Come on, Sid. You're so close to being healthy. Alright, you know what? Grab the fast one. Oh, no, don't run away. Don't run away. Yes! In my pocket. I wonder what he's doing over on the side, though. Oh, come on. Okay, fine. We got another step to go through. And, of course, no good fish. Yeah, like I said, fairly boring little mini game, But it's part of the game, so we have to do it. And I'm going to sit here and talk while we do the whole damn thing. Was that a good one? Damn. Okay, grabbing this one. Uh, see, if it was a good one, I would have just left it. And continued on much... Continued on to go feed him. Because then I would have, you know, gotten better for it. But, oh well. Come on, fast fish. Yes, let's go. I don't care if that's a good one or a fair one, because I'm not going to stand around and wait. Ah, uh, he's such a crybaby, Sid. Yeah, and you notice he's starting to sound like he's dying, but you notice he's not hacking and coughing anymore, so it means even if he sounds like he's giving up, Sid's actually getting better. Oh, come on! Why can't I get a good fish? I just want this to be over. God damn. Alright, more good ones. Yes, grab you, come on, come on, get in my pocket and I'll grab you because you're right there, and please tell me you were a good one. Damn it! Ah, oh, we're so close. So close. Damn it. Yes! Come on, in the pocket. Let's go. Although, honestly, we've sure been feeding him a lot of fish. I think this much fish would have made me sick by now, and I'd be... I'd... Well, 
Well, I don't think I'd be living much longer if someone shoved this much fish down my throat. Plus, it doesn't look like she's cooking it or anything, either. Anyways, I've completely recovered. I feel much better. Thanks, Celeste. What is it? Celeste, the result of my many restless nights here is below. Go check it out. A raft! Took him that long to build a raft? Grandfather. Celeste, you need to see what's left of the world. Your friends have to be... Your friends have to still be alive, somewhere out there. I know. I'll go then. But I will come back here someday. I'll bring everybody with me. And lock, too. Although, you know, thinking about it, there aren't really many trees here, so I guess it would take a while to build a raft. Huh. Yeah, very true. But, we're off again on another adventure. Just us and Celeste. I wonder what's out there. Because this island looks completely desolate. And the rest of the world doesn't seem much better. Honestly, look, we got like this purple poison water for the oceans. Looks like we're coming up on a continent over here that looks just as barren. Mind you, at least there is a little forest here. Grass doesn't look too pretty, it looks all brownish and dying. Man. Oh well. Well, now that we've reached the mainland, let's save up our game. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Let's play Final Fantasy VI. See ya.